welcome welcome to your december collective reading um well a collective upgrade uh, absolutely an upgrade i woke up today with some very important and very clear messages that spirit wants to say um and it's almost like a congratulations like i feel like they're saying this is the era where you have decided to choose you so what i've been picking up is that you're going to see a lot of relationship shifts in your life. Um, and it's really because you've made a decision to focus on what is best for you, your happiness, and you're taking that energy and you're focusing and pouring it into your own cup. So what's happening is that there are people in your life or people who have been in your life for a long period of time that are feeling this shift, whether you've consciously said it to them or not, they're feeling your energy pull back and it's causing a little bit of instability uh, to the people around you. And I know at first you might feel a bit guilty for choosing yourself because, you know, maybe you were programmed at a young age to always focus on other people and focus on their dreams or focus on helping them or focus on supporting them, making sure they are okay. When really during that time, they should be able to take care of themselves too. Like they have opportunities in their lives to kind of steady their own sea legs. Um, whereas I feel like by you focusing on them a bit too much, you're not fulfilling your own cup. You're not uh, watching out for yourself. You're not taking care of yourself and your needs and your dreams. So I think spirit is sensing that you're becoming very aware of this as well. And you probably have been aware of this for a long time. So in December, what I am picking up on for this collective is that you've made that decision or you're about to make the decision where you're like, enough is enough. Um you love these people around you maybe you don't love some people around you but it's almost like you're making that decision and you're gonna say i'm gonna focus on me and in doing so i'm gonna fill my cup and in doing so i will be able to serve my community in a better uh non-draining balanced harmonious way uh whereas i also feel like for those who don't even mean to if you're constantly focusing on other people and making sure they're okay and that, you know, they're doing their stuff fine, what you're doing essentially is that you're almost kind of negating or removing certain milestone moments or key lessons in that those people's lives or that person's life uh, because you're shielding it, you're preventing it from happening. You don't mean to, you're just wanting to support and you want to, and you care and you love. Um, but without meaning to, you're actually delaying certain key moments in those people's lives to which they need to go through. And you know, it's hard to watch people stumble sometimes. It's hard to watch people fall sometimes. However, you need to trust that they're able to get up and kind of keep moving on because those lessons are for them to learn. And if you're always there kind of like shielding that from them or making sure everything is okay and cushiony for them, you're actually doing a disservice for them. You're doing a disservice for you because you're not focusing on your needs. You're also doing a disservice from them because you're, without meaning to, preventing certain key moments that are meant to happen in their lives from happening. You're delaying it and without meaning to that accrues karma now this message that comes through is a message of like asking yourself why if you're in that boat where you're constantly trying to tend to other people's garden why do you do that what is it within that's causing you to do that like where where did you learn that other people's needs are more important than your own where, where did you learn that you know if you did take a chance on yourself, you'd be incredibly successful. And why does that scare you? You know, like, what is there to lose when you focus on yourself? Are you scared to leave people behind? Are you scared to um, let them down? Um, are you scared to be alone? Like, there's these fears and these questions. I'm goosebumps saying this. And I'm being very like direct. I think Archangel Gabriel's here with me speaking about this. It's like, what is it that you're doing? Um, what is it that you're choosing? 
that is causing this. Like there's got to be some sort of reward, whether you realize it or not in your mind, that happens when you're choosing other people versus yourself. And we can't, <laughs> it was so blunt. <laughs> Archangel Gabriel is so blunt. I always thought Archangel Michael was blunt. Archangel Michael is blunt. But Archangel Gabriel? <laughs> just, just let it out, you know? And I think his message right now is like, when are you going to draw the line? When are you going to put your foot down? When are you going to finally choose to do that thing that you've always wanted to do? When are you going to decide that your life is meant for you to live and you're not here to live someone else's life or version of you, or you're not here to fulfill other people's dreams. You're here to fulfill your own. And when are you going to decide that that is going to be for you? You know, and I feel like that message, um, Archangel Gabriel's saying is basically for people who are still on the fence you know this energy of December I think a lot of people have decided to choose themselves but I think there's some people out there who are on the on the fence and what I'm picking up on is a lot of solar plexus work which is really stepping into your power um and Archangel Gabriel asks like where did you start losing trust in yourself in that you will be provided for and supported if you choose yourself. There are a lot of questions that are brewing that I wouldn't say need to be addressed, but they are questions that are important to look at and reflect on because everything we do in life, we do it because there's a reason why. There's got to be a benefit in some way for us. Maybe it provides comfort for us. Maybe maybe it just like makes us feel more valid or validated when we attend to someone else's need. Maybe it makes us feel more needed and we need to feel needed, you know? Like there's different reasons why we do the things that we do. And I think Archangel Gabriel is asking for us to really look at that and really pay attention to why we are doing the things that we do. Um, I think also in December, there has been patterns or even like in November or maybe even October, I feel like there have been patterns that have been rising to the surface that maybe you thought you finished dealing with and it just came up again for you to kind of really solidify what you're going to choose this time. Are you going to continue the cycle? Are you going to nip it in the butt and move forward? Um, and I think this is the precipice of change. I think 2025 is really going to make make a major shift in so many people's lives uh, if they're so willing and wanting that for themselves. Because, you know, what we don't change, what we don't shift, what we don't work on, we repeat. We repeat. And, you know, we kind of look at our generations uh, in our past. Do we repeat the cycles of what they're doing because that's what we've always known? That's what makes it comfortable? Or are we going to realize that maybe that cycle was not ours? We were to observe it and we're meant to change it and take a different route. So I feel like there's massive moments of um, epiphanies and changes in December for a lot of people. And I feel like, yeah, Archangel Gabriel is just like, well, how serious is it? How serious do you want to change your life? Right? So with that being said, <laughs> let's just do a very quick uh, reading for the collective here. Man. I love Archangel Gabriel. He's very straight up, very like on it, very like clear. So the first card that comes up, it says ceremonies and celebrations. It says it's time. For, it's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. Um, when I read this, not only is it like it's time to celebrate the choices that you've made and if you're choosing yourself and you're finally feeling liberated and you're finally detaching from other people's perception of you maybe they're upset that you're leaving them maybe they feel abandoned that you're leaving them or you're choosing yourself spirit is saying like you're learning to detach from that and know that it's not personal like it's your life you're not born to live someone else's dreams you're born to live your own and when you're choosing that and you're reinforcing that. I think spirit is really wanting you to celebrate that. Because it takes a lot of work 
to recognize patterns, transmute them, heal, and make the active choices to embody your authenticity, right? It's different than thinking about your authentic path or whatever. It's embodying it and living your truth. And that should be celebrated. Um, when it says the important life passages, this is a milestone moment for a lot of people. This is a huge moment in, in your life, in terms of your path, in terms of the lessons that you've come here to learn. Like there's something massive about this moment. And it's like you're preparing for the next phase of your life. So there's also like a switch in um, your guides, um, your, you know, and I felt it recently too. Like my guides have shifted. It's not the same um, team that I've had the first, you know, when I started my journey here, it's like they've shifted and it's almost more specialized. You get more specialized um, guides for your next phase. So I don't know, Archangel Gabriel is really about communication and really getting into your creative endeavors. So it's almost like I can feel that. I see, you know, my videos are getting more clear in terms of what I'm saying. Um, and I'm starting to be more creative. Like I started making some random art the, the other day and it was so fulfilling. It was just like, yes, this is how I want to be. So anyways, second card, this is fluorite. It says natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. Yes. This is, this is the key. It's being yourself, being your authentic self, choosing yourself and knowing that the right people will understand you. Even if it means you have to walk away from them for a while, the right people who love you and understand you know that they're, you're doing this for you. It's your life and they, they will support you. Um, you know, even if you're not in their lives right now, it's like they, they still love you. They support you. They are rooting for you. And they understand you. And I think that's why it's so important to know um, your tribe. Because the people who don't get you, who don't understand when you choose yourself and they take offense to that, they are not for you. They're, that means that they have benefited from something that you've given them energetically or something that you provided for them. They benefited from that and they want that for themselves. <laughs> And you just decided, no, I don't like, no, I'm, I'm going to go and do my thing. They were not for you to begin with, you know, like that's really important to know as well. So Tanzanite, one of my favorite crystals, um, it says ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. So this is a new adventure. I feel like there's a new opportunity coming for you. I feel like those who are interested in love, you know, love has been pop popping up in some of my readings, especially Aquarius, I think, and then maybe Taurus. Um, if, if you resonate with those signs, I think those signs are experiencing an upgrade in love. Um, and it makes sense. You're pouring more love into yourself. So therefore, you're emanating more love and you're in the frequency of creativity and and just flow and happiness and joy. So, of course, if you're looking for love, you're going to attract that. Um, you can have a strengthening in love um, if you're in a current relationship right now, but there is something where there's an equal exchange of love um, with the universe and you and with people. It's more balanced, it's more harmonious, and more flow, more ease, more happiness, so more romance in your life. So maybe you're appreciating the little things a little bit more, like something is happening where there is a really dramatic change in your mindset I feel um more gratitude something something like that uh that's happening right now um and I feel like that's something that you should be incredibly proud of because I genuinely feel like this moment has been everything that you've gone through has led to this moment that's how powerful this moment is and that is why you're getting those new guides. You're getting a shift in guides because you've proven through that self-work that you've done that you are ready to go into this new chapter. You have shifted yourself enough energetically and you have learned enough to move into this new chapter. So 
that's a confirmation there for you. Um, I think sometimes as well in December, I feel like because you've already energetically shifted, um, you might be in a space of cocooning and like healing and just kind of resting because all the energy work is a lot of work on your physical body. So you might need to sleep more, eat what you want to eat, relax, you know, do what you want to do, be gentle with yourself. Um, and just kind of allow the things to shift around your reality the way that it needs to. Um, and if people are upset because you're choosing yourself, just kind of detach from them, you know, just kind of focus on yourself um, and let them be mad. Let them be mad. What are they going to do? What are they mad about? You choosing yourself? That's so messed up. That means that they can't choose themselves or they perceive themselves uh, as an un incapable or unable to choose themselves and to live their life the way that they want, you know? So is there any final message you would like for me to share uh, with this collective here? I'm really excited for you. I'm excited. I feel like 2025 is going to be a brand new, brand new cycle for you. It's not going to be the same as it was before. Something has definitely shifted in you. And I feel like you've really cleared a pattern of karma that has been part of your journey for a long time. Okay. So the first card that comes in is 18 Angel Aziel and Smoky Quartz, which is a protection crystal. Um, it says Heavenly Mercy. Okay. The second card that comes through, it says... Um, Ascended Master Mary Magdalene and Aqua Aura Quartz Divine Alchemy. This is such a beautiful card. Like, look at these. Look at these cards. Um, Heavenly Mercy and Divine Alchemy. The first card makes me feel like there's gifts coming. The first card makes me feel like God sees the work that you've done. And even though it may not be physically tangible, like people may not understand what you went through you know what you went through and God sees everything and I feel like God knows how much work you've been putting in yourself to heal your own generational trauma to get into a space of living authentically um, and being unapologetic about it it's like rewards have to come to you because you've you've gotten to that space you know how hard that is to get to that space there are so many people on this planet who choose to settle and who choose to play it small and who choose to live other people's dreams out. But you have made it to a point where you are living life on your terms and the way that you want to live it. And God sees that. Spirit sees that. And I feel like Spirit is confirming to you that you are going to start to see surprises and gifts um, and more things that are in alignment with you to kind of reinforce that uh, pouring into your own cup because they're working with you, right? They're working with you. If they are helping you fill your cup and you're taking actions to fill your cup and, and fill your needs and do what you need to do for yourself, what happens is that you are in the best space to provide service to your community and to heal your community by being yourself. So they're going to work hand in hand with you. Divine Alchemy um, tells me that there's a huge transformation happening for you. You're like a totally different person than you were like a few months ago. And I feel like right now you're just kind of getting your physical body to shed things that don't work for you anymore. Maybe energetically you've already shed stuff that doesn't work for you. Energetically you are... Um, also physically moving that energy out of your physical body. So I want to say again, if you feel like you need to tie up loose ends, you're going to do that um, during this month. Um, if you feel like you need a massage to get all those like muscle knots out of your body, because those knots probably carry energy of your past. So that's something that can happen. It's a detox period. It's something to really get that energy out of your physical body, um, which is needed. So Epsom salt fo foot soaks or something, something in, in terms of just really taking care of yourself, you know, going on that juice cleanse or whatever, taking your vitamins or whatever, like something um, in terms of really 
grounding this new energy into your body, but also sleeping and resting whenever you can, because it's a lot of work to integrate that new energy um, and to shed energy. Uh, you're allowing space for new things to come into your life. So I feel like this is perfect timing because 2025 seems to be ushering like a very different energy than what, than what you experienced before. This is gonna be a new slate, new things new vibrations, new people, new environments, and, you know, uh, and the people who are meant to be in your life will come back to your life, and the ones who are not, send them love, focus on you, um, and then watch these miracles continue to pour into your experience. So this is really exciting for December. I almost feel like this is almost like a New Year reading, too. Um, Maybe it's a December, January reading. I'm not sure, but this is what I'm picking up. Um, I hope this reading resonates with you. Um, for those who resonate with this, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. That means a lot to me. Um, I love reading your comments as well, so feel free to post a comment below. Uh, and again, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the year, and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye!